In these problems, we're looking at inequalities, statements with uh, greater than or less than signs in them, and matching them up to the right graphs. And there might be a little bit of terminology that you're unfamiliar with in here, so we'll try to go over that. This problem says which number line shows the graph of 2x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 10, and then it says big D equals real numbers. That big D stands for domain, and that means everything that x can be. So if you look at these graphs, you'll notice that some of them are just a filled-in line, and some of them are dots. Well, the filled-in line means you have all the numbers and all the numbers that are in between. So not just 1, 2, but 1.5 and 2.779 and so forth. So everything that's in between. That would represent all the real numbers. Whereas here, we've got dots, so it's just the 1, but not the 1.5. Just the 2, nothing in between. That would be if you had a domain that said integers. In this case, we've got real numbers, so we're looking for the, the solid lines. So right away, we can say A and D are eliminated, and we will we'll just have to figure out if we can choose between B and C. So how do we do this? The first step is to solve this inequality for x, just like it was a regular uh, equation. We're going to do that by subtracting 6 first, and we get 2x is greater than or equal to 4, and then dividing by 2 to get x alone. And we get x is greater than or equal to 2. And then we just have to find the, the number line that reflects that. This one here, this is 0, 1, 2, starts at 2 and goes up. So that shows all the real numbers that are greater than or equal to 2. Because the dot is filled in, that represents that 2 is included in this. So it looks like C would be the correct choice for this first one. Let's try one more. And this one um, is going to use a rule that you need to keep in mind that has to do with negative signs and inequalities. I'll show you that. So again, the first step here, they're not telling us what our domain is, and it looks like all the um, answer choices are solid lines, so it must be real numbers. Uh, it says, which number line shows the graph of negative 2x minus 8 is greater than negative 4? So once again, we're going to start by solving for x, and we'll add 8 here. And we get negative 2x is greater than positive 4. And then the next step is to divide by negative 2, right? But here is where the special rule with inequalities comes in. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality sign. So since I'm dividing by a negative 2, I've got to flip this sign. So let me show you how that works. Those negative 2's cancel, of course, we just get x. And now, flip the sign, x is less than and 4 divided by negative 2, negative 2. So that's the rule to remember. Multiply or divide by a negative, flip the inequality sign. Now we've just got to match this up with the right graph. x is less than negative 2. So let's look. We're going to look for something that's going this way, because when they're pointing that way, that's a, a greater than. So it's got to be either c or d. And it looks like D starts on the negative 3, so that's wrong. And C starts on the negative 2, so that looks okay. And also, it's got um, an empty circle there, which is exactly how you want it, because it doesn't include the number negative 2. It's less than, but not including the negative 2. So it looks like C is the right answer for that one. So that's a little bit of work with uh, inequalities and number lines.